Yo, yo, what's up? This is the Base One and Seven, and welcome to the Babbling Heads Podcast. I'm the Fingers. I'm Joe Zone. Charlie X to C. And today we are welcoming um, Grayson Vanguard Teller, the Intersectional Process Coordinator at IM. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. Um, thanks, thanks for doing this. Thanks for doing this. Um, Zayn, my friend, grew up with him probably when I was three years old. Um, when he mentioned this, as I, I have. I had to, I had to have you on, man. So, so yeah. thanks for 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 doing this. Um, let's start off by saying why you're here, mm. and give us a history as to you, you personally. Sure. Let's sure. let's because sure. we want to get to know you personally, sure. and then the cause mm. that you're fighting for. Um, in general, I'm a human rights defender, but in particular, I'm an LGBTI human rights defender. Mm. Um, I'm a transgender man, I'm 31 years old, no kids, no married, I'm not married or anything. You're putting nature. it out there? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, so... Uh, swipe left, swipe right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I work within um, LGBTI societies, I'm an advocate um, for, for justice and for, 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 in broad terms, queer bodies within society. Mm. Um, cool, cool. Um, so, so, is... Zain told me that you you advocating for a third gender Absolutely. at, at home affairs. Tell us to anybody that doesn't know the ins and outs. Why is it important? Why why is this this, this struggle this uh, agenda so important? Absolutely. Um, I think you know a lot of people when when they talk about LGBTI individuals they always they always put it in one pot like a poikikos and mm. it's not really necessarily the case you know you've got um, sexual orientation mm. you've got sexual orientation and then you've got gender identity so the lesbian gay bisexual that's that that's sexual orientation but transgender and intersex speaks more to your bodily anatomy and who you identify as mm. um, and and lots of people don't understand that where we find ourselves right now in society, uh, to a large extent, it's, it's attributed to the apartheid regime. Um, mm. If you recall, there was an act called the Immorality Act of 1927, which mm. said that a man may not lie with a man, a woman may not lie with a woman, vice versa. So initially what they did is that they criminalized <coughs> Um, same-sex relationships and LGBTI, organi- um, LGBTI bodies from being in a relationship with one another. Mm. And throughout society and the, 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 the structural binary, it has excluded trans people and intersex people for a very, very long time. Mm. Um, so much so that, you know, back in the day, your, your ID firstly identified your race and secondly identified your sex, whether you're male or female. Mm. Um, and currently in... And your in, race as well. And your race, absolutely. Mm. And reparations of the past, subsequently they've taken away race, but they've left yeah. sex, yeah. which does not speak to trans, intersex and non-binary in, individuals, yeah. Yeah. right? So what happens is now, based on these two um, 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 unique... How can I put it? Um, it was methods that the apartheid regime used to actually, you know, dominate over minority groups. Yeah. Um, and right now, as we speak, there's probably an intersex body that's getting um, mutilated right now in hospitals. Mm. Because when you're born, you know, sex assigned at birth is either male, sex assigned at birth is either female. Yeah. But you find intersex individuals that are born with both genitalia. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so uh, that's with, with uh, a maphrodite. We don't use that word. Oh, it's, okay, it's, sorry, a, no. it's a politically incorrect word. Oh, okay. we don't use oh, is it? Anymore. Yeah. No, 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 we don't use it. It's intersex bodies mm. or transgender bodies, mm. um, and that's it. That, uh, that's that's very interesting. I'm glad you say that. Say that because. Uh, it's not that people are trying to be nasty yeah. by using these words. It's ignorance, basically. Because I never, yeah. I was ignorant on the on, on the. That's, fact. that's the only term that I knew yeah. that mm. was assigned to that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. No, so no, the, the term would be intersex so no bodies, yeah. intersex bodies, or transgender bodies, or mm. gender non-conforming um, individuals. Okay. Yeah. So now, based on these um, uh, d- different kinds of bodies that you find, South Africa now has a binary system where you either fit into one box, male or female. 
So mm. that does not speak to intersex bodies. So subsequently what happens is that the doctor and the parents then take mm. that decision to yeah. remove one off, mm. right? And then mm. that has huge implications um, as you grow older because you grow older, your body starts becoming, it's either you grow breasts or you, you, you understand what I'm mm. saying? Yes. So now if that mutilation happens and you start growing a beard but they chopped off your penis, that becomes a problem, Yeah. yeah. right? Um, so... The, the fact that you don't have agency over your body is a problem, number one. Mm. Number two, the fact that there isn't a third um, uh, option for people who are born that way. Yeah. You know, you didn't, you didn't just uh, you, what, use a magic wand and then yeah. all of a sudden you were born yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you exist in society, so therefore mm. society should make sure that your existence um, is not desecrated or yeah. eliminated. Yeah. Much other person said so. Absolutely. Tell me. So, yeah. Yeah, I got the question. Do, do, you, do they recognize the third six in any way internationally? Yeah, absolutely. In Malta, they okay. do, um, as well as as in Canada. Um, Canada's actually rated one of the best. Um, I've heard about Canada's to, to, yeah. uh, progressive thinking. Absolutely. Um, you've got your option to choose your own gender marker. You've got the option to change your identity document to mm. suit who you are at that particular point in time, yeah. which South Africa hasn't done up until now. Yeah. Um, so as civil society, we've been campaigning and advocating that, guys, um, this is putting our, one, our, our bodies at, 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 at huge risk. Could you imagine traveling internationally and you get to a border um, or at the airport and they check your identity and your identity document does not speak to the physical representation because mm. home affairs is taking forever with your documentation. Yeah. That puts you at a risk for violence, wow. right? Yes. Because your ID says that you're female or male, but uh, when you represent yourself in front of people, it's something completely different. Yeah. That's 100% yeah. correct. I so understand that, that, that fact. Like. And this also also transcends as well, not just necessarily when you're traveling, but just getting into your car and driving. You know, when you get stopped by a traffic officer and he says license and registration, Grayson, and I give him my license and registration, he's probably going to arrest me because he's either going to accuse my, me of faking my license. Or because faking your ID. Or faking my ID. Mm. And those are the kind of vulnerabilities that trans and mm. intersex and gender non-conforming individuals face within society. So it's imperative to have a third option where you are not at a risk of violence. Because could you imagine, you're giving your license and registration and you understand the story. You get into the car and you drive away. Yeah. And then around the corner, three minutes later, there's another traffic officer mm -hmm. that asks you for your identity. So now you're forced to come out every single time unwillingly yeah. because the system is not suited for that particular body and it's a problem. Okay. As I remember working um, at Budget and Dial Direct for the UK um, branch in 2006 and they actually had an option as like you've customers phone in to say they wanted to change their gender it was allowed sure so like your if you, somebody identified as a female um they could then change the the prefix mm. to that sure. and it wasn't an issue absolutely and that's that's uk based and so this was being done in the uk back in 2006 already mm. but yet south africa is not that progressive in terms of wanting to make a change because i think they're so biased and rooted within the stereotypical christian values yeah um, and I think that's also a point we wanted to, to, to tap into because that is also Christianity, as Charlie said pre previously, uh, of a was a system that was imposed on us. Um, so our traditional values, our traditional belief systems were taken away and we were forced to follow this, mm. this particular set of values, models, etc., and to prescribe to their dogma. But how do you think that has impacted, especially the, um, the shame that's attached in Christianity, yet mm. the Catholic Church and I speak under correction, it's, it's documented worldwide the amount of abuse that happens from the church on male bodies. Um, that should be addressed. And so how do you think Christianity plays a role yeah. in this whole dilemma, so to say? First of all, don't think nonsense about the Catholics now. I'm Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> it's documented. <laughs> it's, documented. <laughs> it's based on the true story. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. I mean, look, a lot of the time, you know, primarily a lot of the transphobia and homophobia that happens within society derives from the biblical text. Mm. Um, and as inclusive and, a minist uh, and affirming ministries, what we do is that we contextually read the Bible. Yeah. So we read the Bible to suit the year and now, right? Um, and quite a number of, of, of stories within the mm. Bible have fueled um, a lot of the hate crime because yeah. uh, as you well know, mm. um, over the last month or so, there's been a lot of LGBTI yeah. bodies that have been killed yeah. and raped, etc, etc. Mm. Et um, so you find that there's the Sodom and Gomorrah story, you find that there's all these texts, you know, Leviticus, mm. etc. 
But when you actually unpack and you read mm. um, the Sodom and Gomorrah story, you actually yeah. realize that it's not about homophobia, yeah. right? That was a very progressive city, yeah. right? The issue that people had within that story was mm. about xenophobia. So when they rocked mm. up, they said, these people, we don't know who they are. Mm. Come out. And you see that transcend within society right now where a yeah. lot of um, individuals who are foreign nationals yeah. get, get, get violated, right? Yeah. And that's what the story is about. It's not mm. about um, LGBTI people. Yeah. It's not about sex workers, etc. But the true story around that biblical text was the fact that they didn't know these people and they wanted yeah. to have a conversation because they had a close-knit community, right? Yeah. And then you find that another story that, 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 that we unpacked biblically is Joseph the Dreamer. I don't mm. know if you recall that story yeah. where, where Joseph... <laughs> Yes. Sorry, speak, to, story. speak into the mic. Speak to the mic. Sure. So, uh, I mean, it's a remarkable mm. story where, where, with this young boy, his father, he was tricked a little bit yeah. um, because he saw this beautiful woman and said, "Listen, I want to marry this woman." Mm. So then, his father-in-law said, "Okay, you need to work for me for a couple of years yeah. before you've got the privilege of marrying this woman." Um, and after he worked those seven mm. years, he was like, "No, I'm going to give you a different woman." And then he worked a few more years, he gives her a different woman. And then, lastly, the woman that he actually wanted. Yeah. was then Joseph's mother, and Joseph was born. And what's mm. remarkable about that story is that Joseph's mother was, was said not to, to, to be able to give birth or to conceive children, mm. and yet Joseph was born. Now, many years later, fast forward, here's Joseph, his father bestows this robe of many colors, right? And I think it's very imperative that we, mm. we, we, we park on the, the robe of many colors, because the only time that robe of many colors was referenced, I think it was in the book of Isaiah, mm. where it says it was a princess-like Mm. which is very important. Yeah. Number two, I think what when we unpack the story, his father recognized his uniqueness and his difference. Mm. Um, and his father later on said, listen, go to your brothers in the field where they they, 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 they with the cattle, etc., etc." Mm. Firstly, he didn't know where it was because he had to ask for directions. Yeah. So could you imagine as a young boy, how do you not, with, with masculinity bestowed, mm. you know, how do you not know where your brothers farm? You know, how, how, how is it yeah. that you've never been there? Yeah. You know, so that says that he wasn't in touch with his masculinity because he's never mm. been there. He had to ask for directions. And eventually when he gets there, his brothers are like, here comes this dreamer. Mm. You know, and then his brothers then say, listen, we need to kill this guy. And luckily one of his brothers said, no, 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 let's not kill him. Let's sell him off. Yeah. Right. And what's remarkable about that story is that here's this man mm. embracing his femininity, yeah. you know, and rejecting masculinity yeah. Yeah. like his other brothers because he mm. was the only one that was always left at home. Yeah. And when you unpack that story, you realize that there's quite a number of individuals in the Bible who've always existed who are queer, who are LGBTI. Right, mm. and there's another story about the eunuchs. I'm not sure if you know the story about um, the eunuch and, and Philip, where the eunuch was actually a castrated man. Yeah, and we we we, we liken that particular. To why we use that text is that in today's society they say that anyone that has within that particular biblical text, anyone that has gone um, under surgical procedure is not welcome in the house of the Lord. But Philip then redeems um, the eunuch and says, "You have no salvation." No matter how you present your body, you are welcome within the house of the Lord. And that directly speaks to intersex bodies. That directly yeah. speaks to transgender bodies. Um, and I think that's very important yeah. um, to note that it's always existed. Tell me, what, what, <coughs> what blowback are you getting? Because obviously, I want, yeah, what blowback are you getting from getting, getting it done, uh, the, 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 the gender? Because, I mean, um, it's not just you request and mm. magic wand type of thing. Yeah. Unpack the... the, the 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 journey um, to getting it getting it done and when do you think it will be it will be passed? Look, as civil society, we've been advocating for a third gender marker for the longest of time, and we're very pleased with um, home affairs that home affairs has finally um, uh, come come to the table and said, "Listen, mm. we're going to create this opportunity now um, that you rightfully deserve as a human being." Um, so now you've got you you currently what's presented is that you've got an option of. Um, male, female, or unspecified. Mm. But we're not happy with the unspecified because currently what's happening is that home affairs wants the unspecified option only to be for intersex and transgender bodies. So mm. you can imagine that if that's the case, you are directly, uh, you know, it leaves a window of opportunity for people to violate you. Because the mm. minute they look at you, regardless whether you've got a, a beard or not, they'll be like, this guy, he did something. Right, mm. and then therefore that will then create you, um, create uh, imminent danger, right? So we mm. don't want it solely to be for trans in and intersex individuals, but we want trans people to have the option of choosing mm. or choosing male or female, 
You know, as a transgender man, yeah. I don't want to use unspecified. I want to use male because mm-hmm. I identify as a male man. Yeah. So uh, you telling me which option to choose is a problem for mm-hmm. starters. Number two, and making it only for, for, for queer bodies is also a problem. So we need to maneuver through those different categories. Mm-hmm. Sorry, can we just slow that down? So we, 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 can we just slow that down? So are you saying there is three options? Absolutely. So at currently least. at at this time, there is three options. No, 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 there's only two. Mm. But okay. Home Affairs has produced a document, a policy amendment okay. that introduces the third mm. option. The third mm. option. Absolutely. Yeah. And what you are not happy with is the fact that this third option is just unspecified. Am I correct? Mm. What we're unhappy about is not the third option, but the fact that they only want trans, intersex, and gender non-conforming bodies to use the third option. And that is a problem for us. So we don't want you to tell us which option to use and for it to only be for LGBTI yeah. people. That's the problem that we have. So we want those three avenues to be open to anyone. Yeah. So as yourself, I mean, you find individuals who are not gay, lesbian or transgender, who are gender non-conforming, who don't want to be identified as male or female. And it has nothing to do But then with that means that I can go and say... Uh, right now, that that would be me going and saying, I if I identified as a female, yeah, you should have, the and option. then I can change to being a female yeah. on my ID. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, according to Act Forty Nine, um, so you've got the policy, and then you've got Act Forty Nine of of two thousand and three, which is the alteration of Sex Descriptor Act. So this particular act um, has been in motion since two thousand and three, and it gives you an option of changing your name. Right, because when you're born, right, they see you, hey, your mother gives birth, and then they look in between your legs and say it's a penis, then they say it's a boy, then they give you a male name. And then those particular roles um, that society puts on you is that you're a boy, you have to be masculine, you have to wear blue, mm. etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the problem that not everyone wants to abide by those set binaries because it excludes people, mm. right? Because the minute you create a culture that it's male and female, etc., those that don't abide by that then becomes mm. a problem, right? So in essence, not necessarily identifying as trans or intersex and gender non-conforming, you wanting to, to pick the unspecified option. Mm. It's about you revolting against the system that has for a very long time excluded many people, mm. right? I've got friends who are not LGBTI who want to be referred within the unspecified, right? So now that directly challenges the notion that um, home affairs currently is presenting, which is a problem. Because it's like you're trying to help, but you're not helping. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's, 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 you take two steps forward and three steps back. I wonder why do they, why do they go that option and not listen to the people that, that's requesting it and ask the, and grant them their, their wish because they are living it. They, it's their reality, not yours, most mm. probably. They Absolutely. Just not assume. Here's the thing that I'm, unpack for me when you say transgender bodies. Mm. That particular word that you use, yeah. Because for me, it's in the mind, yeah. You know, absolutely. So why do you say transgender bodies and not not just transgender? Because it's mind, body, and spirit really. Absolutely. Yeah. Why why do you why do you choose that 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 word in particular? So uh, the the reason why we say sex assigned at birth is that uh, the doctor told you what sex to assign. Right, they told you that you're a boy, and that's it. Um, so that's the reason why we use sex assigned at birth. So with someone who's transgender, the sex assigned at birth is incongruent with the identity they identify as currently. Right. So if I had to give you an example, um, you find uh, an individual who's born and they uh, they they assign female at birth, right? But th- there's an incongruency between the mind and the body that they're in, right? So the mind says that. Uh, I actually identify as a male and not as a female, as the doctor said I, I identify as. So you've got an option of undergoing gender-affirming healthcare to fix that, to make it congruent between the body and the mind. Mm. But what a lot of people don't understand is that just because you're trans, that doesn't mean that you want to undergo gender-affirming healthcare, right? Not everyone wants to undergo um, the needle or wants to undergo the knife, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that particular body okay. Okay. that it represents Right. So you find people that that undergo gender affirming healthcare, right? They go on home and therapy, they do all sorts of things to affirm their identity. And you've got those other bodies that do not want to affirm um, their, 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 their gender medically. And that's fine. Right? That's absolutely fine. 
That's, that's, that's very interesting. Okay, I, had to go, I had to go Google what incongruent means. <laughs> <laughs> so I, know what that means. <laughs> I know what it means. Um, uh, it means it doesn't match up. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, gender affirming healthcare. Mm-hmm. Who, who pays for the gender affirming healthcare? The government or uh, private? Privately? Okay. So currently, a lot of medical aids do not pay for gender affirming healthcare because they see it as cosmetic. Um, they don't see it as a necessity. They don't so see wouldn't that be a battle that you would want to? We have been fighting this battle fighting. for many, many years. <laughs> um, so uh, unfortunately, they see it as com- as, as, as cosmetic um, and not necessity. Um, so medical aids currently do not mm. pay for gender affirming healthcare. So you've got an option of accessing it privately, which is a problem because not every doctor- And the government would not, would the associates it as cos- cosmetic, obviously. Yeah, well, government currently depends where you are because right now in Cape Town, we've got Grotteskir Hospital. I do um, mean depends who you are. Currently. Not every government hospital is skilled what, in this yeah. area. Oh, okay, okay. Or okay, knows okay. or opens okay. So it depends you. where you are, you mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Not who you are. Not where who you are. Oh, I thought you said who you are. Where, where, you, come, where you come from. Okay, yeah. so it depends where in the country of. So if you're in, in, in Western Cape, South Africa, mm-hmm. and you apply for gender affirming healthcare, you can get it. You can get it. But the problem the is government. that, through the government, but the problem is that the waiting list is 25 years long. What the fuck? 25 yeah. years long. So long, almost as long as why, the Why so long? Healthcare services are not skilled enough. They're not knowledgeable enough. And sometimes they just don't give a fuck. Okay. You know, so you'll find- I'm sure as time goes on, the uh, they will gain more knowledge. You know, in the beginning, or, or now at this stage, they mm. might not be skilled, but they will get to skilled. Is that the aim for them? Well, I mean, uh, that's where we talk about privilege and that's where we talk about cisgender privilege, right? So cisgender privilege is privilege They're obviously gonna push the- uh, I mean, uh, You know that old saying, majority rules, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's something yeah. of that nature. Where you've got cisgender privilege, where the majority of South Africans are cisgender. Yeah. So it's it's for, for, for private sector or people who make money, it's better to please the majority and make money off of that than the minority, which we find ourselves in. Yeah. So uh, currently, as, as we speak, um, the, the, the waiting list is 25 years long. So ultimately, people will live and die without affirming their health care. Yeah. And that directly speaks to your privilege in terms of your socioeconomic status. Because yeah. not everyone has the money <coughs> to, to buy, go to, to a private that. doctor. But we also have to. We also have to. In the biggest scheme of things, and I always talk about this on mm. the podcast. We also have to look at the mm. healthcare of South Africa. Yeah. And there's obviously other people. Our healthcare is at a strain in South Africa. Mm. So we have to look at that that that, that in perspective. So yeah, 25 th- uh, a years is obviously mm. a crazy thing, and and obviously the rich people is going to get it. But can our uh, is it is it um, realistic for our government? To, to be able to assist in that way. Absolutely. I mean, when you look at um, when HIV and AIDS, uh, the, there was a huge scourge in South Africa, government did it. Even though they, they were not skilled. Happen. They made it happen. You know, even though they were not skilled in it, they didn't know anything about it. They were learning, but it happened. Right now, you've got thousands and millions of South Africans who access ARVs, which they were not skilled before, but now they are. So why can't that then be the same for trans individuals? Yeah. And that directly speaks to cisgender privilege. You know, privilege that people who are not trans, intersex, and gender non-conforming so they don't care about the others that they don't. Absolutely, absolutely. You shine in a light on us as well. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go? Or can I just go for it? How will this affect sports? Because, like you mentioned, uh, mm. the, the inter- intersexual um, um, person, like um, Castas 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 Mania. Mania. Yeah. I remember mm. that Apro. Mm. Um, There's some fighting as well. There's, uh, un- they say it's unfair, but how will this ease or complicate things? Well, I, I really don't think it's complicated at all. You know, I mean, people I think it'll make it better. It'll make things better because if you have this classification, it's it's, it's clearer. Uh, you know what I mean? So if you were mentioning before that there will only the government suggested there will only be three classifications. So in that way, in a fight or in a in a in, in a contest, mm. there will there can be three classifications. But if you if you if you almost identify everything as Mm. Um, tr- make things more transparent. I think is mm. is, is more. Mm. What, what's your what's your take on that? 
Well, you know, when you when you use the word transparent, I become a little bit uncomfortable um, <laughs> because when you use the word transparent, it's like now I need to tell you who I am. And there's yeah. when was the last time you came out the closet and say, "Hey, I'm straight." This is who I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You don't do that as as mm. such gender straight people. Okay. So why? So the LGBT wording is wrong. Then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but what what I what I do believe is that look, people are born. You know that that cannot be changed. People are born. People die. And in the body that you represent when you are born, no one can change that. If Casta Semenya identifies as a woman, she's a woman. Finish and clear. The only thing that needs to change is how and how they define the word woman, because obviously that needs then to be changed within this particular binary in sports to include Casta Semenya, because now she's been sidelined due to how she was born. I mean, could you imagine uh, if uh, albinos um, or people with a different skin tone were classified differently because of who they were born? Mm. I mean, that's that's a miscarriage of justice. What what if they what if they what if this is is a, uh, maybe a solution? Mm. You count all 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 uh, um, uh, athletes count the the the, the testosterone levels. I, I think no. that would, would that be would that no. be I'm just I'm not saying it's a because, good, I'm just because males male you can't you no, can't no, do no, that I'm, I'm, I'm saying if you if you if you if you female right in, in that, that, that a, you can't perceive uh, you can't uh, um, go over a certain amount of testosterone that your body naturally pr- produces no, and, got, and, that won't and work. males because and just, males as well because obviously males is, but think about it like two, two every two 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 guys produces different types of testosterone already within two mm. male species and, uh, they do the same. Mm. so so but, in there already is a differentiation yeah, but, they're still so in are you gonna, bra- but the same they st- they're still in the same bracket eh? but when a female does it does it now shouldn't shouldn't there be a limit to, to that and and nah. at a certain point I'm asking. I'm not saying. I'm. I'm, I'm mm. asking. Just mm. so then you're gonna say like, okay, now nah, Le- there's a certain amount of um, uh, LeBron James. You got too much testosterone. <laughs> so, uh, you you must stop now. But if there's <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. You, you, you can put the, the, the no, uh, on both. There's also the, there's also the you're gonna put on the, cap the on both. State, the mental state is like if I identify whether I can be high in the testosterone level, but I'm still I'm still effeminate, and you can't then say okay, no, but you can't be because your testosterone levels is, is too high. But I still identify. But that's what they're doing with Costa. That's what they're doing mm. with Costa, and that's so, an so injustice. I'm, mm. so, so that's the injustice. Be, yeah, that's I, what I'm saying. It is an injustice, no? But I, don't paint me as a hater. Mm. But there is a, a, an advantage, a hell of an advantage, when it comes to the physical things that she can do. Not not just that, but recovering from 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 from, from a workout. The more testosterone you have, the quicker you can you can you can you can. But recover. she was born that way, bro. Mm. I get what you're saying. It's That's not why I'm, not, I'm not saying that she shouldn't induced. be. She's but not, I'm, it but wasn't I'm, injected. Yeah, it's definitely it's, it's not a it's not a fault. Yeah, you can say that. Mm-hmm. But um, we should still have the conversation about it and say yeah. that look. With you know what I'm saying, and, and so I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm, I'm, but I'm throwing mm. it out there. With to, other athletes, to, 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 no? the, with other athletes, the ease, the ease. Um, uh, gray areas with 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 within the transgender area, but with Casta Semenya specifically, mm. if you're talking about mm. her, she was born that way mm. and she identifies as a female. So, mm. Am I right? Mm. So therefore, she's a fe- she was born a female, she identifies as a female, and she's producing high testosterone. But that's not her fault. So but she, does, but does she, so she identifies as a female though? She does. Yeah, she does. She does. Okay. She does. She's, a, sure, she's yeah. a gay female. A lesbian, a lesbian female, yeah, or lesbian. Fe- yeah. but anyway, um, the point is that, that she identifies that way and she's she she's born that way, mm. so there's no added injections. Mm. If you the, the 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 discrepancy comes from when you when you born mm. a man, right? Mm-hmm. You're born a man and now you become a woman. Right. Uh, let me uh, correct you there. Uh, you're not. You're Trans- not born a man. You uh, were assigned male. Okay, so you were. Ma- the assigned- doctor told you were a man. So you were assigned yeah. uh, uh, male. A male, yeah. right? Mm. At birth. Yeah. Right. And then you became a woman. Affirmed yeah. your identity. Yeah. Affirmed your you identity who you as, well. as, yeah. as a woman. As a woman. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go play. Um, and then you go, f- UFC, go, and, and, and then UFC. you go, yeah, and then you go fight in the UFC or running as a woman. Mm-hmm. Any sports, really. is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, wait, uh, wait, wait. but yeah. you born a man, right? I yeah, you were assigned, 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 assigned gender yeah. for twenty years of your life as a man. <coughs> yes, right now you, okay. you, 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 
at the stage what do, what do you do trans uh, affirm your gender affirm your gender as a yeah. woman as a woman yeah at that stage and you have surgery mm. can you go and fight in the UFC of course as long as you identify yourself as a woman you're a woman mm. no one can tell you otherwise Um, for, uh, but but yeah. for, for but if for 20 years of your life you had a male skeleton as long as you affirm yourself as a woman because you must remember the constitution of the for country tw- for 20 years of your life you were uh, pumping weights as long you as you the, identify yourself mm. as a woman you were a woman right so uh, let me take for example with I'm, i'm not saying you're mm-hmm. wrong i'm just mm-hmm. saying that might be unfair how is it unfair so for 20 years of my life mm. I pump weights I push weights. Yeah. I exercise like a man. I use my testosterone mm. to get me where I get ahead of mm. everybody else. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm. I push, I run, I, I do everything that my 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 genetic makeup that frame mm. is going to be is going to be bigger than 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 on average than in a than a woman. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Well, then I, I I have to disagree with you because Uh, for 20 years of your life uh, for 20 years of your life even if it's 50 years of your life if mm. you identify yourself as a woman you're a woman so if you reflect on the constitution of south africa it says that no one can discriminate against you based on your sex and gender if sex and gender meant the same thing there wouldn't be a comment between the two words in the constitution right mm. so you're talking about the sex assigned at birth and the gender you identify as right mm. so you got two you get two kinds of trans individuals you got a trans individual that's un- going to undergo gender affirming healthcare and you get trans individuals that don't want to or can't afford to right so if you decide to undergo gender affirming healthcare what what happens is that you undergo um you, so when you're born right with male assigned at birth you've got a, a, a influx of testosterone yes when you affirm your identity medically what happens is then it gets tilted over so then they suppress your testosterone and they increase your estrogen so everyone okay. is born with testosterone and estrogen when you're born okay. so what happens is that it's this is the kind of movement so you saying that's the equalizer uh, not the equalizer it's if you want to it, it doesn't have to equal I, to I, anything I don't, I, don't, I, don't, i don't agree with you in that sense because mm-hmm. i'm saying for if 20 years of your life mm-hmm. you've got that 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 strong frame Mm. And 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 you you that, that testosterone is, is operating at that level and you exercising. Uh, this is uh, we just talking a get, hypothetical situation, mm-hmm. here, right? Ryan? We just talking like a, a, a mm. almost like a, that 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 Android that you make up on PS sure. uh, mm. uh, uh, five. Like mm. it's not it's not a real. We're not mm. assigning this to anybody real sure. here. Mm. You're discriminating against mm. real. Mm. What I'm saying is is that if you do that for 20 years mm. and then that 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 person then goes to fight in the UFC as a woman mm. I, th- i have a problem with that or uh, if that person goes to go go go, go does go does like mm. any um uh, uh no especially especially MMA because mm. that is you hitting somebody you're yeah. hurting somebody so boxing or, or something like that I, i don't know so much about other sports because nobody's mm. getting hurt mm. but specifically in MMA in, in, in arena it's it's but very it's but a very, it's very the same as costa You think about it's not the same as Costa but, because but she was he, born. She was born like no. But what, what 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 he's saying is that person was also born that way. So they were assigned their gender. Mm-hmm. So what he's saying, they also born born like. Absolutely. So then he, I get I what get, you're saying. But yeah. I get what I get saying. what you're saying with Costa. I I think it's difficult. But 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 this is important. Yeah, yeah. Conversations like this is important. Guys, 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 guys you can't say gents. Guys, humans, <laughs> humans. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's <laughs> I understand where you're coming from, and you have a point because somewhere along the way, people are going to find a loophole. And for example, say for take example, advantage of the system. I am, yeah. Yes, exactly. Say for example, I've, I've I've been a male my entire life. My right? question to you: What? Why should the body change and not the rules of the game exactly. to accommodate the body that exists? Exactly. Because so, at the wh- end of the day. Right at the end of the day, if if we had to compare apples with apples in terms mm. of identity, right? Yeah. Mm. So you've got sexual orientation and gender identity, but mm. let's liken it to race. Mm. In the apartheid era, for many years, black people and colored people had to justify why their blackness is blackness and should exist. Mm. Mm. So in essence, if you're going to compare identity and you're going to say that as a trans person, I must mm. fight for mm. my existence to be recognized, mm. then that becomes a problem. So mm. that's why we, we we speak of cisgender privilege. That mm. this is the privilege that people have that have that align with the sex 
assigned at birth. I so like the my, way you debate there, dude. The, I like the way you debate. But fuck uh, what I think. I think that, that we a, need to... Fuck the point. We, we, need to, we need to change the rules I, of the game. I agree with yeah, you. Like, I, so I, I, I agree with you. So what does the change be? Got, like, people, can I just say what I wanted to say, finish, please? Okay. So, I'm a male, right? I'm obsessed with fighting with UFC or EFC or whatever it is. Mm. I've, never, I've never had a, a, a title belt in my life. All of a sudden, now I can change my gender. Mm -hmm. Books, my frame is twice as big as a female's frame. I'm just making yeah. an example. Mm. So now, see, mm. I want the title and I'm obsessed with this title and I'm kind of mentally unstable as well. I'm not going to change a form that I'm a female. Mm. So now I beat the living shit out of every female there and mm. I have a title. Do you think that's fair? That's, that's what That you're sounds saying. dodgy to yeah. me. That's I think he, it's he fair. Understood, like, he understood yeah. the first time. I think, just, it's uh, you I think, think it's fair. You think it's I think it's fair. I really think it's. I mean, right, let me take myself for example. You see that 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 is that is not right, bro. Because this is this is existing. This is happening. I'm not actually. I'm not actually. I don't actually want to be a female. But I'm just affirming that I'm a female because I want this title. I want. I want the championship belt. Do you think that is fair? That's the question, man. That's that's what he's also trying. You already answered it. I think it's fair. I mean, I'm gonna for for example. Um, I, I grew up doing karate. I started karate at the age of five. I've got a black belt in karate. I represented SA uh, countless of times. Um, and I, I remember specifically on this one event, mm. we're at the Standard Bank Arena. Um, and every, we were, they were choosing the, the SA team to represent South Africa. So fine, um, in, 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 the, in, in, my, in my weight division, um, there was a number of girls. That was before I identified as a transgender man. So we fought, we fought, we fought. Now it comes to the final two. So I was fighting against this, this, this individual who was very tall, very big and buff, you know, and she clapped me. You know, I came second, you know, and I accepted that the fact that I lost, you know, because the fact that they identified themselves as a transgender individual and mm -hmm. was undergoing gender affirming healthcare, does that mean that person must now sit at home and not do anything mm -hmm. because the game is not changing? Mm -hmm. That's a problem. So what happens, to, what happens to people where the system and the structural system that mm. exists does not accommodate individuals who don't align to and the that. system, the structural system is... Patriarchal. Is it, yeah, and it's, 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 um, what's the, yeah, it's, it's, ah, it's, 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 I feel it's different. It's I feel just, it's a bit it's different. It's benefiting us, but we, it's not benefiting those the that, individuals. Yes. Absolutely. So you're saying so that there, should, there will be three, there should be three levels of, of competing then? Well, I, I, I think so. I think so. If you identify as a woman, right, and you want to go fight, the people that are in your division should up their game. Pew. You shouldn't go down. Mm. Because you are in the same way. That's that opening you the door for crazy people to, 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 to come in. Like, it's opening the door for, 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 for not even, and I'm not talking about like, like just, it's, it's, it's opening the door for a man that's not, it's, it's, it's not like in his head to say something like that. You know what mm. I mean? Because, it's 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 the east genuine people that 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 that, 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 that is genuine like you, you know what I mean. It's honest, but these also outliers that 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 is that is not like cool. You know what I mean? Like 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 Charlie was mentioning right. now in a okay. hypothetical situation. What if this guy just wants to wants to win a title so badly that he's going to now say that he identifies as a female? You know what I mean? And also and also on that same point, Ryan. What if what if not? I identify myself as a female. Mm -hmm. I go rape other females. I must be sent to a female prison so I can rape more females. So do you see? Do you see the picture I'm trying to paint, man? On that note, um, do you see? Mm. Because I'm affirming I'm a female, mm. so now I rape a lot of females. I, I, I form I'm a female, but I still rape females, and I go to a female prison mm. and I rape more females because the prison system allows you to rape. There's no, there's no, mm. there's no, there's no thing against raping prisons. On so that I, note of you get prisons. What I'm saying, man. That's, that's why I was saying it's not. On the note of prisons, let, not, let him speak away. about the prisons. Well, I, 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 I actually, I think it's very fair. Let him I speak think, about I the prisons. I think it's absolutely fair. Before we move on to the prisons, let me ask you a question. How many times have you ever come across a woman who happens to be stronger than a man bi biologically? A lot of times. So, why then does the toxic masculinity become a problem when it comes to physical strength? Because that's the argument you guys are bringing. No, and I'm that's masculinity. That. You not want the, 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 the ideology of you saying that it's not fair speaks about toxic masculinity because it's mm. absolutely fair, right? If you identify the way you identify, finish and cloud. 
the game, like I alluded <laughs> earlier on, the game, the <laughs> game, the rules of the games change. Because uh, they say it was the Bible that but um, God didn't create Adam and Steve. Steve exists, what must happen now? <laughs> they must sit at home and do what? Because you have a problem, because your gender identity is congruent. Yeah, like so you. then what must happen? So yet again, the, the argument that you're making alludes to cisgender privilege. Mm. Right? Is, I, don't, is, uh, I, I don't think so. No, the, I don't think, I don't think we, we, we're I'm alluding saying. to cisgender privilege. It is cisgender privilege. Just, it's, just like, it's just like KG, man. The, the point I'm trying to make, man, is that you can you can you can you can use the third gender or 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 or, or whatever you wanted to, to your benefit man to personal gain not to the, the the argument we're making is not to 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 it's about not about masculinity the the argument is that benefit. you can yeah the benefit okay that, let me ask you, you this what i'm saying mm. so currently I can, I can use this as my those, those outliers that's going to try to do exactly, the benefit there is currently. Currently. obviously the we, we we're benefit not saying that there's there's there's, 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 there's not people mm. that are genuine. genuine yeah we're not saying that there's not people that's genuine. We, we're we just are. saying this the, the when you open up that that door to to yeah. how you say you're gonna open up the, mm. how you per, um would like things to to, to roll out Absolutely. it's just opening up for a lot of chaos as well yeah um, we're not saying well, we're not I, saying I disagree. There, there is people that mm. identifies and and i 100 percent agree with what you're saying yeah we do that 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 that, 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 that can all do that but when you make it free for all mm. there is going to be i i just feel like, i just I, feel i, 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 I have, have to disagree with you and the mm. reason why i'm going to disagree with you is that uh, currently, I mean, uh, before we went on air, we were talking about the LGBTI hate crimes that's been happening in South yeah. Africa, where yes. people are raped, killed. By the way, that's not um, for you. It might might seem like uh, mm. general knowledge, yeah. but for the p- general public, sure, sure. Zane told me about it, and I was like shocked. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. so we need to. I need to um, shine a light on that more actually sure. on the podcast. But anyway, go, go yeah. On. yeah go so, on. so you find that uh, I mean, and and the, the, the first it uh, the first um, unprecedented scourge against LGBTI bodies happened in two thousand and four, where mm. there was this big belief that you know, um, correctional uh, rape and stuff like that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I don't you I don't I don't like to use the word yeah. correction because yeah. rape is rape. rape you didn't rape get my consent. Mm. Yeah. Finish in class. Yeah. So rape is rape. Yeah. Um, so you find that now. Uh, p- people were, 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 were being raped, were being brutalized, were being killed. Mm. Which individual mm. who is sane is going to want to be a part of a community that gets brutalized by just walking on the street? Yeah. If we're talking about free for all. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Who's going to do that? Good point. Mm. No one's just going to say, listen, yep. I'm going to go point. to Kailicha, you know, yeah. and I'm going to now say, okay, yeah, I am. I understand right. what you're so saying. no one is gonna just out of the blue say guys i'm transgender or guys i'm this and i'm that mm. it's never gonna happen that way yeah. right but okay. on the note of prisons um, i agree with you. you you made a valid point there it's, it's like if you who's gonna go who's gonna go through all that effort to, to become to that, uh, uh just to win a title exactly exactly doesn't happen to say that hey, you see but i mean you, you, we what our point is that you can't open the door and 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 i i i i yell myself and i yell what you're saying as well and then until you can Thanks, speak uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, my ex boss used to, my boss used to say that, yeah, mm. gays they want to be gays. Mm. So I told him, dude, I grew up with a gay, mm. with a gay. So I sounded right. Yeah. I grew up my my, my mm. best bra, actually two uh, mm. two bras they gay. Yeah. And I saw the the torment they went through personally, like crying, dude. I don't want to come out and stuff like that. Absolutely. And I told him, dude, do you really think a bra is gonna go through that? For for what benefit is there, man? Absolutely. Okay, no they, benefit societally wise mm. personally wise coming out you feel free you feel absolutely you know what i'm saying that, that, that from yourself you, there, yeah. there's the benefit but mm. coming out in, uh, dude it's it's all negative from a society point of view man. absolutely so i get, get that yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, i just want to quickly speak on the, on, on the prisons um about two years ago when i was working for a different um, organization we had um, a transgender woman who got sentenced to i think i stand on the correction 15 years imprisonment mm-hmm. um at Malmesbury prison for, for for killing someone right um and we took upon this case because she got uh, sent to a male prison um and she got sent to a male prison she was expected to dress as a male she was expected to behave in the p- p- um, typical binary form of a masculine individual mm-hmm. but when you reflect on our constitution they say that but this is wrong that you're doing and uh, just because this person is sentenced to jail doesn't mean that they cease to exist you know as mm-hmm. pr- if prisoners can vote you know uh, mm-hmm. you've got a right to be who yeah. you are 
Mm. Right. So we took upon this case and we fought and we won the case where the judge said that if this woman wants to go to a female prison, let her go because you cannot discriminate based on sex, comma, gender in the constitution mm. of the uh, country. Did she of uh, uh, for did she of uh, like perhaps she was a female, like uh, a male? That's what you. Did you go through surgery? No, no, she didn't go through surgery, and that's the that's the beautiful part about it. Is that I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what the technical term for the surgery is. Uh, no, that's fine. It, we call it gender affirming healthcare. Uh, the term uh, affirm gender, gender, gender affirming, and you affirm yourself, and you affirm yourself medically. Medi- medically. So you do it. Medically. You can do it in yeah. two ways. You can affirm like verbally Personally. to say like yeah. you uh, this affirm is, myself, and yeah. then and then you ge- can do can, you can you can medical. go. But because the medical uh, aspect is there's a 25 year waiting list, if you're going by a state healthcare, you can do it privately or you can choose not to. But I'm saying mm-hmm. we want to hear terminology here because we want to yeah. also educate people out there. Oh, they sure. don't know what the, the right sure. for yeah. We don't know what mm-hmm. they are, the, 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 the right terminology is. Mm-hmm. So, say for instance, you go undergo a surgery, what mm-hmm. is the right the terminology gender affirming healthcare? And if you don't go through the sur- sur- surgery and you just Remain. Mm. You, you, you what's, what's your, it called? Mm. You affirm Organs yourself as a look l- like like mm. like my brother said over here that you so can affirm. I, if I don't mm. go through the surgery, what yeah. is that called? So that's you affirming yourself socially and not medically. Mm. Okay. So mm. you dress a particular way. You use so a particular. So I'm just pronoun, affirming myself mm. as a female. As a female, yeah. and okay. you don't necessarily. Uh, the the point of of affirming yourself as male, female, or gender non-conforming is not based on medical care. Right, and I, I think that's, that that's, now that's, yeah. after this conversation, yeah. <laughs> it's not based on medical care, and that's exactly what happened to Jade September. Is that uh, she was sent to prison? She hasn't uh, undergone gender affirming health, which is a choice. You know, you can, you cannot. You, you don't have to. You know, there isn't a benchmark of how a transgender body should look like. But, but mm. you so what you're saying is now that somebody that affirms himself as a female mm. ha- that has a penis on them is now in a female. Um, um, Prison. Mm. So what happened with the judgment is that the judgment was given saying that this individual, if she chooses to go to a female prison, she can. Mm. Subsequently to that, the wardens must affirm her as a she, as a her, based on the constitution of the country. Mm. Okay. They, she can wear panties, she can wear weaves, she can wear makeup. So what was the outcome? The outcome is that she has a choice. Right. That and was what did the she choose? Well, right now I, I left that organization, so I don't know what what oh, happened there. Okay, okay. But the judgment was that mm. she could choose. Okay. You know whether she 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 moves to a female prison or not. You know, but the basis of that of that judgment is that you are a woman that's in a male prison, mm. and that's the injustice. This is a tough conversation. Could you imagine? <laughs> mm. No, really, we, we need mm. to talk. I, I think to, what's important mm, now is that uh, there's equality and there's equity, right? Mm. So uh, to define, to differentiate between the two words, equality is having a male and female bathroom. Equity is creating a third option where you are addressing injustices of the past where you create a third option. So equity is male, female, and gender inclusive bathroom. Mm. That is equity to meet the needs of the people that exist in society. Right? So you're saying so create a third bathroom? No, absolutely. Actually, no, no, actually, and then people should have the uh, option to no, go no. to one, two, or three? Absolutely. Anybody should have the option. Fourth. Anybody. In, anybody should have the option whether to go to one, two, or three. Or three. But then just Sorry. one. I want to have one bathroom and anybody can go to go to one. That works as long mm. as you don't exclude people. That's perfect. If there's one bathroom for everyone, that's mm. fine. So you saying either but one bathroom gonna, or three bathrooms? A- absolutely. Four bathrooms. Or four. <laughs> as long no, as definitely it's able, not definitely able people designated to a specified bathroom. To a specified body. Absolutely. Also, I wanted to, I just wanted to ask, man. So, like, the prison system, coming back to that, man. Um, why not just create another, another, like, you want another gender? Okay, we want another, another gender at from atmosphere. So, why don't we create a different section in the prison? Rather than, rather than you affirming your male or female. Because I think, if, like, for me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, you know, our people, they don't care if you get raped in prison. Mm. Like honestly, they don't. Mm. So like, I just think about it, man. I, I need they need to be the loopholes need to be closed, man. Because I can say I, I, I identify as a female, and I get, for example, that option. I can go to a male prison or a female prison. Tell me what man is not going to go to a female? Like he's mm. a man, but he, what man is not going to go to a female? Yeah, he's. I'm, so like, I'm saying, but I mean, I'm from, I, as mm. I'm 
I get That's what you were speaking to earlier. I'm just, I'm just thinking, man, about about <laughs> safety. Even though the rape culture in, in prison is fucked, is fucked up, it's a culture in yeah. prison. Uh, so I mean that yeah. you can, like I can now, like that, that's why I say okay, there needs to be, like it needs to be written out to the team and like the the, the which it how is. We, how we, how we gonna how we gonna how we gonna tackle this issue? Say for example, I'm just bringing up a loophole, man. I'm yeah. not saying it's it's gonna be this way, yeah. but. We need to tackle that. So how do we prevent that from happening? How do we prevent this from happening? <coughs> do you understand? Yeah. How, can, how, can we, how, can, how can we vote out like... Uh, 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 uh. How can we create another prison system where it's, it's not just male and female prisons? You have your, your, your uh, 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 trans... Um, Presence, well, even, man, I, you yeah. what I'm saying, man? Yeah. No, I'm with you. So uh, the Department of Justice um, has uh, a national working committee, which I form a part of called the National um, LGBTI Task Team. And subsequently to this broader form that gets chaired by the Deputy Minister, um, there's the Provincial Task Team that exists in every single province in the country. So with this province, it deals with um, the justice system, it deals with hate crimes, it deals with all these issues that face the LGBTI community. Yeah. And within this particular forum, what we did is that we came together and we created standard operating procedures for police yeah. and for prisons. Because we recognize that there's a huge problem and a, a window of opportunity for violations to occur. Yeah. Could you imagine a transgender man getting arrested for, for example, allegedly faking your ID document and here you go, oops, you go to jail, they put you in the male prison where there's only one toilet. And then you need to use the toilet. And there's actually a case that we know of a transgender man who got arrested um, and got sent to a, to, 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 to a male cell. And he got raped the entire night because people realized that this person is a transgender man um, and would, had not necessarily undergone gender affirming health, health care from the bottom. Um, and they used that as a window of opportunity. This so is what a case in South Africa? In South Africa, yes. So no, with, with the standard operating procedure, yeah. it then creates a third option where they recognize that there are LGBTI, bo LGBTI bodies who are criminals, who are going to be violate, who are going to violate people who need to be arrested. But however, the fact that they created or, 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 or did a crime mm. does not mean that they should further get violated within prison cells. Mm. So they, they have in certain um, policing uh, 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 police stations, there is a separate holding cell for LGBTI okay. bodies um, currently. But unfortunately, this does not exist throughout the entire South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the oh. problem that we face. You just said somebody that raped somebody mustn't get raped. But anyways, other people will see that there's a fear. You didn't say rape, you said violate. Violate, sorry. Yeah. sorry. Two wrongs violate definitely or, don't make right. No, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the, Some the people will think that capital punishment must come back. Yeah. Because there's, mm. you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. Is eye for an eye. Yeah. Your punishment should be... Uh, should fit the crime. Congruent no, should to be crime. humane. Should, yeah, should be humane and should, should be, should be, humane, should be um, documented. Mm. Not documented, but agreed upon. Not, um, what do you call it, uh, society mm. just punishing you for, mm. for, for, for no trial. And you know what's the like funny that. thing about these laws that are sense. imposed on LGBTI bodies is the fact that there's a huge degree of sexualization over the bodies. Mm. If you look at all the laws that exist, particularly within the Southern African region, they criminalize sex between two bodies that identify as same sex. They don't <coughs> criminalize you identifying as LGBTI or as lesbian, gay, bisexual, but they criminalize the sexual act. Why does it boil down to what's in the pants and what happens behind closed doors mm. where no one sees? Because for me, it's very funny that, you know, what, what, what people do behind closed doors where they don't bother anyone, why should that be a crime? Is this now specifically in South Africa you're talking about? Uh, not in South Africa, the broader spectrum of the Southern yeah. African region. Okay, you're talking you about know. in Africa. Yeah, in uh, Ghana, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 Nigeria, okay. etc. Okay. Et et and, and some of uh, these sentences are quite rife, where you know you find that you can get sentenced to 30 years yeah, in jail. I've heard, uh, mm. I've heard about that. But, the, but I mean, in, in Africa, mm. uh, in South Africa is quite progressive, but yeah. in Africa things are flipping. Yeah, no, they're, yeah, they, 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 they're very bad there. And I think... I think that is something that we should really highlight because I mean, in some mm. African countries, they still like, like, like you were saying, like mm. it's it's illegal basically yeah. to do that. Mm. Um, to 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 and and that is like, I mean, come on, this is 2020, 20, 20, We shouldn't be thinking that that way. I think that is that 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 is not highlighted enough mm. in the world, yeah, mm. globally, because yeah. the, uh, people have. Um, 
അത് അത് ഹ്യൂമൻ റൈറ്റ്സ് അത് ഹ്യൂമൻ റൈറ്റ്സ് അത്രോസിറ്റീസ് വയലേഷൻസ് ദൈവിക വയലേഷൻസ് ബീൻ ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ഗ്ലോബലി ബ ദാറ്റ് വൺ സ്പെസിഫിക്കലി കിപ് അൻഡ് കവർ ആൻഡ് ഐ മീൻ ലൈക്ക് ദീസ് കൺട്രീസ് that is in that, that that is using this this should be like a global like push against these countries to 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 change that sort of mindset and because of the countries adopting that that um that sort of laws mm. the people take it upon themselves within that countries to 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 murder like yeah. and, and 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 that becomes a problem i, I think that is like but like you said, I, i understand what you, you you're trying to change the mindset of 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 us yeah. all and, and mm. it's really slow because even myself and charlie we we think a certain way and, it, and uh, our way of thinking might we might there, there might be some adjusting needed to it but i i actually the core to what we were i think we i were. see your point of view mm. right mm. but i ask myself is my point of departure mm. Mm not isn't it coming from a privilege because because we are privileged to the, to the idea that there's only two right mm. and it's fair what fair what's fair to us is might not fair be fair to them mm. but it comes from a, of a sense of we had this we had a, the history of our lives society being a certain way mm. and they say is no man but that's wrong and we can't grasp that fact man But I get what you're saying because for me also it seems unfair. Same with with mm. with Costa. For me it seems unfo- unfair that 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 you have to compete with somebody where you know she's going to beat you because her body is just more uh, robust, or whatever, or for for that sport, whatever, because but, of the testosterone. Uh, Costa but, never did anything but, but, illegal. But, She, she never, exactly, she never exactly, injected yeah. herself. Yeah. So how can that, that be the, fair? That is a, that is a no, I, I, get, I get what you're saying. But yeah. like I say, I need to, it's not just I, I'm hearing the mm. fact. Mm. I need to digest that information <coughs> and, and come to the, and and, and re, for, for that change to be, it, it needs to be mm. an organic change. Man. Absolutely. And not just somebody told me to, 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 to think that way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to take time for society to do the same as what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I think it needs to start now in schools. Because mm-hmm. you find that, uh, you know, you've got girl, boy schools, you've got co-ed schools, mm-hmm. where you find kids, you know, I, and, and, and I think that's the, that's the weird part about parenting and parents, mm-hmm. right? Because if I had to reflect on my life, um, I remember this specific time where I think I was about five, six and I had to go to crash and my mom took out a dress for me and I was like, I'm not going to wear that dress. And I, I said, no, <laughs> you know, I, and that, I was that young. And growing up, that was who I was. You know, but all of a sudden when you tell your parents that, listen, um, I'm LGBTI, they get shocked. It's conversion therapy, nah. there's a pastor here, there's a but, pastor there. But when you, ident- when you, f- for me, like, like you see that in that, in, in, in your s- sense, how you explain it at five mm. years old saying, no, I don't want to wear that dress. Mm. And that just being like, almost like, it's not that, that somebody told you, mm. you just knew Absolutely. yourself yep. that was not in you. You know, so mm. what I'm saying? It's not somebody that's, Well, I mean, <laughs> you can go probably 20, 50 years being uh, one way and then mm. s- s- realize that you need to. So I don't know. I don't think, you know, you know I, I think that there shouldn't be a specific way to parent bodies based on sex assigned at birth. Let children be. Then therefore, there's no need for you 20, 30 years down the line to come out. Because mm. you've always been who you were. Yeah. You know, no one forced a particular methodology down your throat that you should dress a particular way or, or do a particular thing. I sort of mm. treat my son and daughter like, I treat my daughter like a girl and mm. I treat my son like a boy. Mm. Mm. Is that uh, like a problem? Well, I mean... Because I do boy stuff with, you know what I mean? Uh, they, ask like him. A play. Ask him. The only way to But find he out... But he, 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 he likes it. He likes being it. rough. He, he likes being yeah. rough and my daughter likes being like girly, hugs and stuff yeah. like that. If uh, Mode of communication is very important. Yeah. You know, right. so ask your child, listen, my boy, is this what you want to do? <laughs> and if he says yes, then you do it. If he says no, then accommodate the no. Mm. Check you, know? you, you can see by the action sort of what they gravitate to. Like, uh, like I said, my daughter chooses, mm. I want to wear a dress, I yeah. don't want to wear pants. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. in that way, I can see like, like, like you, what you spoke to myself earlier. And, yeah. Myself and Kearns, we did a, a 21st. Mm. And um, the father gave a speech and he said, look, he was my firstborn. I was going to play rugby with him. Come on, little slugger. And then I realized, no, but he wants to 
play with a, with a doll. Mm. Mm. And he said he just had to make peace <coughs> with it. Yeah. And he, your boy is going to spend more time with your mommy. Okay? Mm. My boy, in the case, do not. But he's going to do girly things and he accepted it. And mm. I think we, we as parents, yeah. what he's trying to say, we just need to accept things, man. Yeah. And not enforce, in, enforce your... Your your visions as when you grab I'm gonna have a boy I'm gonna girl mm. this is gonna mm. happen no mm. dude life is different that with what that you you that you envisioned it to be man and Absolutely. you need to you need to adapt to oh, whether, yeah. whether, whether. Mm. and you be we should be more open minded mm. but also the general public uh, um, of of of, of um, queer people mm. should be also more more um, patient with us man as they mm. don't love the experience. Because we're yeah. gonna say something wrong. Because there's a there's a there's always this thing that um, you must gendering me and people mm. flipping out. Um, we, we we I think we should just be more um, patient with these other men as we navigate this new you world. Know, that as, as as you're talking now, mm. uh, um, I agree with you. By I disagree with you. By the way, <laughs> um, okay. so you agree uh, and disagree. No, no, I disagree. Sorry, oh. that was uh, uh, agree to disagree. I, no, 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 I disagree wholeheartedly. <laughs> okay, okay, so. When your wife got married, yeah. I assume you married because yes. you mentioned a wife early mm. on. So when your wife got, what's your surname? Hopley. Hopley. So when your wife got married, she wasn't using the surname Hopley. Yeah. And then when she got married to you, you know, she's Mrs. Hopley now. You know, no one had a problem saying Mrs. Hopley, right? Everyone accommodates Hopley. Like, hey, Mrs. Hopley. And no mm. one changes Mrs. Hopley from the time you were married, right? So why is it that people, you know, affirm you when you are married and your sis genuinely you say I'm Mrs. So and so. But when you tell them, guys, my name is Grayson, please abide by the name Grayson. It's a problem. No, Why? I, I no, no, I don't have a problem, so I don't, I can't, I can't mm. answer that. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm posing it as a question mm. that why is it so acceptable in society that when a woman gets married and changes her surname, you know, everyone celebrates this new change of name. Yeah. Everyone celebrates this new person that's now becoming. But now, when trans people change their names and identity, I don't understand why, why are you saying. You, you mentioning this how does it equate to what i said so what i'm saying you, you mentioned that um you know you mentioned patience and you mentioned misgendering right which is completely uh, which is in the same pot as um using a different name as well because okay. when you are born you know you see a penis well, I, I, and I, I, then you I, give a male name mm. right but then the person does not identify as a justin they identify as Justina. Mm. But introducing myself as Justina then becomes, hey, it's so difficult, man. Hey, it needs time. But when a woman gets married and changes her surname, mm. it's not difficult. It doesn't take time. No, no, I was saying patience mm. patience in the, in the sense of... Um, the education. The education. No, no. Uh, let me just put it this way. Um, say some, say uh, um, somebody comes in and, mm. and you, th you think it's a man mm. in... in as a cisgender, you think it's a man, sure. and it's a it's and, and this person identifies as a, fe as a female. Sure, sure. And they should be made space and and be patient with with that person that said that made the mistake. You know what I'm saying? Because he made a mistake, and it's just it's just his point of view that mm. and 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 his past experiences as as to why he thinks that this person mm. is mm. um, a female. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's how you male. solve that problem. Uh, you saw well typically what happens is that um you need to first uh, i understand how the person so if for instance i just mm. met all of you right now right so typically you know you'd meet someone and say hi my name is grayson mm. and i affirm i the pronoun that i use is he what is your pronoun okay. so you're giving that person an opportunity mm. to tell you who they are before you 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 use the wrong pronoun or use the wrong name so you're creating that space whereby um, it's 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 almost Switzerland. It's it's, it's neutral. So mm. you're introducing yourself in a particular way to get an understanding mm. of how the person identifies. Because uh, as people that have eyes, we want to categorize people in different boxes, mm. right? Mm. So you see someone who's a little bit incongruent, dressed a bit femininely, got a bit of a beard. I never, mm. I, never I never, I, I thought, I never misgendered you when I when I saw you. Sure, sure. In that sense. Yeah. And that's the privilege that I have. Okay. Yeah. And the okay, privilege yeah, yeah, that yeah. other people don't have. Don't have. It's people that you don't have I'm, that privilege. I'm so you're more. speaking more to the people that don't have that privilege. Absolutely. That, that you seen because I'm not gonna misgender you. I don't think in that sense. Sure. Sure. Because like, sure. I never right like mm. this when I met you today. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. So and and when you sp spoke, I, I I sort of figured things out like yeah. mm. without you 
saying yeah. I, my name is Grace and I identify myself sure. as, as a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we didn't need to go through that process. But I, I also understand that there is people that do need to go through that process. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, because they don't have that privilege yeah. um, where they then can get misgendered. And that happens typically in interviews where there's a huge uh, high employment rate within the LGBTI society, particularly trans. Because you, you send an application, um, they look at your ID uh, uh, copy and then when you go to the interview, Stand you know, it, it's yeah. different, yeah. you know. So I was thinking more of, of say you're in the line um, <coughs> at KFC and you yeah. see somebody that looks like a, uh, like you think it's a male, mm. and you say, uh, "Sir, can I?" And it's no, and the, and the person would say, "No, it's ma'am." By yeah. the way, so mm. there was no time for that interaction, man. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're not always privileged to that interaction that sure. we do. But sure. if it happens, mm. there's there is a time for the for that. Mm. I would say definitely. But I'm yeah. I'm more referring to when there isn't, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No, absolutely. Mm. So I think the trick then is to mm. use non-gendered knowledge, um, non-gendered language, mm. to then prevent that from happening. Mm. So hi, how are you? Can I take yeah. your order? So yeah. don't use gendered language. Rather, use a simple language. You know, to assist someone. Guys, it's, it's, it's boys, boys and girls, isn't it? Uh, well, guys, yeah. not technically, no. Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, really, guys, guys, I would say, guys, like, guys, say in a, in a, I'm just thinking now, yeah. if I'm in a group, WhatsApp group with boys, I would say, guys, are we are we going hiking? Are we going to the gym? Mm. I would think that would be fine. I think, I think, I think, because you know us, that's fine. But mm. he, um, Grayson is specifically speaking to somebody you don't know. Just yeah. the oh. courtesy of of, of just watching your your P's and Q's is, mm. yeah. is important. Mm. Recently, Demi Lovato she mm. came out and she said she um, identifies as they. Mm. What what does that mean? Well, th- th- it goes. It, it, it's, it's based basically on what we alluded earlier on in terms of someone revolting against a system that already exists. So, in essence, she she came out as a gender non-conforming person that does not conform you know to the binary of he him or she her mm. so in essence what you're saying is that uh, because i don't want these boxes that already exist i want to express myself as who they are and that is very it's it's, it's a powerful way of advocating for um diversity that guys there are other people that exist as him i say now guys there are other people <laughs> that exist you know <laughs> you no, know we, so we've been patient no worry you've been patient, patient. Yeah. 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 we are a group of guys so you, and we do yeah you know so I, so she's coming against that system mm. um and a a, a, a a common reason for lots of people so coming against that system boils down to mr miss mrs and miss mm. uh, does anyone know the difference between that mr miss Miss and Mrs. Yeah, what is the difference? So, m- master, yes. master. I think is when you're young. Mister mm-hmm. is when you get older, past your mm-hmm. 18th birthday. Mm-hmm. Then you got Mrs. Mm-hmm. Uh, miss, miss, miss is when you're not married. Mm-hmm. Mrs. is when you're married. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and then you got another no, Mrs. as well. You got a MS, which I think is either assigned to widower. Okay, so. You you've you've got Mister mm. for someone who identifies as a man. Yeah. You've got Mrs. and that's a woman mm. that's been married. Yeah. Um, and then you've got Miss that's, who has not been married. Not be married. And then you've got another Miss yeah, who Mr. who hasn't been married. Yeah. So now my question is, why is it that a man should know whether a woman is single, married, or divorced, but women out there don't know whether a man is single, married, or divorced because you just use Mister, mm. and that's the kind of system that. Gender non-conforming people are fighting that this That's is actually a patriarchal, deep, no? a patriarchal system. Yeah, you know. So why should so I, well. as Demi, um, um, Demi Lovato, get married and be called Mrs.? So I'm a married woman. Why can't my husband? Why can't people know that he's married or single or divorced? Yeah. So it's a patriarchal system that mm. digests itself <clears throat> in society, which is a problem. We are not aware Easy. of our privilege. We should we use our privilege more often. No? <laughs> but it's like you say, like uh, I think, like like Nental is saying right now, we know the way of of the breakdowns of why the they and the and and then all these things happen. And often, like I think, there's a lot of people out there in the world that's like maybe they because they feel there's a heavy push for mm. people to use mm. the specific terms. They want to sort of push back. To sure. not do the terms, yeah. but it's because of ignorance. Yeah, okay. naturally, Absolutely. it's not because of 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 being nasty people. We're not mm. we're not bad guys. Yeah, yeah. we're just ignorant, like he said in the like like the. But I also the think you know that uh, as people, and we're trying that, to in, in educate yeah. ourselves. I also think that you know, as people who have eyes that can see, we are not privileged mm. uh, because people who can see, we see difference. And then sometimes that difference does not, it's very negative. Uh, if, if I can ask you, when when was the last time you saw a blind 
racist. <laughs> When was the last time you saw a blind xenophobe? You know, when was the last? You won't because they don't see that difference that people who have eyes that can see. You know, so we're not privileged. We 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 are not privileged with people who have sight and can see difference because you know we see that those guys from Zimbabwe let's burn him. You know, where you a blind person will never go there and bring the the tire to put around this guy's neck. But in that same way that I when. Do you say in that is like when I because I do have my mm. eyes I could mm-hmm. identify who who exactly who you are today yeah. mm. and is that not a positive for you? Well, uh, or, look, or would you prefer to be seen in your in your uh, in in your in your capacity now? Would you be, be prefer not to be seen and just people to 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 hear you and 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 they must know who you are? Well, I, I don't mind being seen, or I don't mind not being seen. Yeah. Uh, my problem is that if your sight is gonna uh, put someone on the back end, then that becomes a problem for me. Mm. Uh, so if you seeing me is gonna discriminate against who I am, then that becomes a problem. You know, yeah. see me as a human being who lives yeah. and breathes and contributes to society and pays tax. You know, okay. and not someone who because there's this huge notion that people who are LGBTI gay are pedophiles, etc., yeah. etc., et which is not mm. the case. You know, so see me for, as a human being. If I've got flaws, deal with my flaws. Yeah, but I not do with see my you identity. as a human being now. And the fact that we speak now and and we are engaging this conversation, mm. we we now having a good good chat back and forth, and you're making us realize things. Um, and 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 now I notice, oh, he's a good guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I think that's that that's the that's the that's that's the missing something missing people don't speak because they don't they don't know and they don't speak to people outside the the box mm-hmm. let's, let's mm-hmm. even put it that way sure. and 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 maybe that's why and you mentioned earlier about going into the people in the churches they mm-hmm. were they within that box the church box yeah. and they taught something within that church box mm-hmm. and it's maybe you go in within that box and tell them hey guys you need to look outside this box because mm-hmm. that's not the the, the be all and end all to what's sure. going on in this sure. bigger picture yeah <laughs> now, and what's funny is that you know specifically talking mm. about church is that sometimes you find that with uh, a misaligned faith beliefs is that you know they use certain biblical texts to their own privilege mm. you know exactly uh, because i mean there's also a verse in the bible that says you cannot mix cotton uh, yeah. you know and clothes all of us here have created a sin <laughs> right but you don't see someone raping you for mixing clothing yeah. Yeah. you know based yeah. on what the bible yeah. is saying so sometimes we use verses to our own benefit and our privilege yeah. Yeah. and that is wrong and uh, the, uh, the, uh, i'm not uh, not talking bad about anybody mm. but um, apparently in islam they do that as well mm. they use certain texts out of context to mm. to encourage people to do certain things and, 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 and maybe yeah religion. in any religion yeah mm. it, it's, it's, it's it can be radicalized uh, yeah right? catholics as well yeah. Yeah. Right <laughs> okay so yeah a very insightful conversation guys right. um yeah Thanks for that knowledge. Definitely, man. definitely more unpacking sure. required. Yeah, we we I think we need to educate ourselves even more. It's like, but um, okay. you have opened us up to 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 certain perspectives. I'm gonna also push back and say uh, there's not everything that I agree with, with that, that you said, mm. but you yeah. have opened my mind up to seeing things from a different for perspective. Sure. And I think that's 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 life, isn't it? That you don't always have to agree mm. on yeah. certain things. As but long as your disagreement yeah, does can, not yeah, infringe on my day to day living, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, uh, and we can still have a good conversation. Like, Christians have friends who are Muslim, and they mm. don't necessarily have the same theological context, yeah. Yeah. but they're still friends. Yeah. So it's okay to disagree, mm. but as long as your disagreement does not infringe on my day-to-day freedom of expression, then okay. then we're good. I think that's a good good message for South Africa. Mm. Okay, thanks. Sure. Okay, but yeah, from the babbling heads, we're gonna say peace out. Did your fingers? Your own. Grayson, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> the base one is seven. Yeah, we thanks. out. Thanks. Sorry for stepping on you. Beautiful. Maybe at one stage it was like cloudy over there. <laughs> Can I ask you? I need to report back to my office. Do you mind just taking a picture of me sitting? The baby is for